Thanks for tuning in to Iron Point Tech. In this video, we're gonna be showing you how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. And we're gonna show you how to do that through Bluetooth. Uh, this tutorial doesn't go over any cable connection, just because since all PS4 controllers are Bluetooth enabled, then it doesn't require any wires, and so all you need is to make sure your motherboard is Bluetooth compatible. Our first steps to connecting the PS4 controller is we'll go to the Start menu, and go into Settings. Settings will bring up these different options. You, what you're going to want to click on is Devices. And then here we have all of our listed devices that are connected to our PC. And we're going to want to make sure that this Bluetooth is enabled. And then the next step is going to be on the controller itself. So you have the controller, you have a couple different buttons you need to push in order to enable this controller for pairing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this PlayStation button and the share button at the same time and hold it down for a few seconds. So you can see that light start to flash at the top of the controller. That means the controller is ready for pairing via Bluetooth. So what we're gonna do now that it's ready is back on our PC, we're gonna click on the add Bluetooth or other device and we're gonna go to this Bluetooth section. So you click on that, you see it already showed up here as wireless controller input. Since this controller hasn't been configured to this PC yet, it doesn't recognize that it's a PS4 controller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that. And then there it is. The device is being set up. The computer is just making sure it has all the proper drivers installed. And then the computer in just a few seconds is gonna be good to go for any of your games that are controller compatible. All right, now that we have the controller linked up to the computer, we're going to let's All right, now that we have the controller linked up to the computer, let's test it on Steam. Now, for this, you're going to want to go to big picture mode. And then once you're in Steam, make sure you go over to the settings controller settings and then you're going to want to click this to enable PlayStation configuration support. So you can see here that it's detected by PlayStation 4 controller and uh, what's nice is also the preferences. So if you click on the preferences you can see here you have the rumble on or off. You can even have the controller light color change uh, to whatever your preferences and whatever you want while you play. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that there. Submit, and then, and then here you have control with your controller. All right, so feel free to jump in, you know, play any of your games, go to town, do whatever you want, click on some stuff, like and subscribe. Thank you.